they're obviously going to buy next round. They're going to get like Famasis and Deagles and buy because they saved two Colts. So it's going to be 10 to 9 and 5. Do you already favor Navi in this matchup? Or when, yeah. when, when do you shift yeah. the advantage in Navi's favor? I, I'd say that the match is now in Navi's control until Moscow 5 can prove they can string more than one round together. I mean, if Moscow 5 can get two rounds in a row, I would say that Moscow 5 are probably going to be looking pretty good to take the match. Because, you know, once you get that, those two rounds, and you get your money up, Inferno CT becomes, like, a lot easier. But as long as M uh, Navi has them on the ropes, uh, one round here and there is not going to give them a victory. Fox is actually opping Banana right now. So, he, d he dropped that cool thing button off, I guess. Yep. Edic with the deagle. The, the, that, that's another funny thing. They could have actually gave Edic a gun if, they, like, he bought an op. So he had enough money to drop two farmuses or like a colt and a farmus, but instead he buys an op. So yeah, that Ron, seems very Ron, typical. Ron Jk doesn't even to have me. a gun. Oh no, never mind. He does. He was just walking with a USB. I thought I was, I was gonna say. That wouldn't have surprised me at all. When you scrim Moscow 5, it's like common knowledge that they don't save. On T sides, they're gonna buy 15 rounds in a row. You're never gonna catch them saving. Oh, and Fox is there goes night. Fox. It actually seemed like an interesting way to bait him in because Zeus managed to manage to sneak close and the rest of the teams just kept spamming for Zeus to get a free kill. And that's something Zeus, I feel like, is very good at. And in the sense that he actually likes to go first and get these opening picks for Navi a lot on different maps. Like he likes to be that guy where I, ge I guess in a sense it's easier when he knows what he wants to do to just tell his team, okay, do this and not really have to go into too much detail about what he's going to do, but then just do it because he's so good at it. Yeah, he's really good at getting those opening picks too. I mean, I wouldn't say his aim is really that strong, but... Oh, that, that's really well, he's, bad. Well, he's obviously uh, smart, and he's really good at playing off of his teammates, I think. That's definitely the biggest strength. And now, Moscow 5 lost all their guns. We'll see if they might actually save here in order to get some offs or something. Dosia with the Deagle, so... It does look like a... Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a save a round. round. For M5 right now. Probably gonna win this round. <laughs> yeah, I'm five on a save round, so tied up at 10-10. And that's how quick a match can turn around on on well on any map, but especially Inferno. Just a while ago, M5 was up 8-1 as terrorists, and now it's all tied up at 10-10 with Navi having full money control. And Star X gets three kills there, just cleans up banana. Fox the last man standing for Moscow 5 and Edward gets a kill right there. Yeah, I mean, and, these rounds aren't even looking remotely close for M5. I mean, yeah, M5, for... M5 hasn't had a single round they could have won yet. On the other hand, I feel like Navi had a lot of rounds they could have won in the first half, but then M5 just grinded them out. But at least they were in the rounds until the end. You know, like with a little bit, little bit of luck, they could have doubled their rounds almost. But over here, um, Moscow 5 has really had no chance so far. And Fox is opping in banana again, Hex hopping in halls, and the dualies are out. Took us a little long a bit longer than we expected, but here they are. Unfortunately for them, it looks like Navi's running their two halls, two window room execution towards the A site. And if right now Navi executes with only Dosia and Hex op Hex playing in A, oh, Navi's gonna play. win. Say nine. Yeah, Sanya gets a big kill there. Now, Dosia is pretty much their only hope, but even he's stuck in small pit. And I really don't see this going well for Moscow 5. See Starix taking out Edic. Dosia is still stuck in small pit. He's got to save this weapon. I mean... Yeah, for sure. He can... Oh, maybe he's going to try and sneak this defuse or something? Actually, had uh, had Ramke gotten that kill two seconds later, I think Dozia would have gotten one to two kills on the guys who now are in the back of site because they were about to push small pit, and then as soon as their teammate died, they both fell back into the site as Dozia was just about to get killed. Now he takes out Markov, but gets taken out by Edward, and 
Who's Fox. guys on Fox? That was actually big because Fox could make a difference with that op in yeah. the next round. And they're gonna buy this next round. But... Yeah, they are, and that makes it twelve ten for Navi. Yeah, that was like a bit of a gamble by M5 that round to do the setup. I believe they had a bunch stacked in B, and like dedicated in banana, like kind of. Maybe that's an anti for Nobby's B takeover, because Nobby does like to, you know, take over B a lot, but... Yeah, Fox yeah. going to aggro on Banana. It actually looks like they're just walking down, rushing Banana, he's going to pop flash, T-Ramp, running Unfortunately, there's no one really there. Hex down to 29, Ramkiss down to 50, Zeus got hit down to 20, and Eddie took a little careless push, I would say, gets taken out, Markolov. He's actually Plus running down and, mid. Yeah. And right now, Dosia needs to get this kill. And he doesn't. And that's yeah. once again around. If Dosia got that kill, he could have won them the round. Yeah, that would have evened it out. And I think they would have had a fair shot at winning. But that pretty much. I mean, that should close the round for Navi. Navi's. I, I feel like Navi is usually really good. Like you said, like they're. A good, they're a good team at grinding that round, sort of like MTW used to used to be, where like you you're not gonna expect them to make a lot of mistakes when they get in these uh, favorite situations. Must go five calling for a timeout. I'm not sure if timeouts exist at DreamHack, do they? Well, they did get a pause, so I have to assume they do. Yeah, and I wouldn't see why not. Does, is this match in real time? Because the pause should have happened before he said that. Yeah, that's actually... That's actually just a little scary for anyone. I mean, I don't think these matches would be... I don't think uh, anybody would be cheating out of these teams, but still. You just never want the chance. I mean, yeah. e even the fact that it's possible can get in your head when you start losing, especially when like you're your M5, you have a big half like that, and you know, then you start losing like this, you can start questioning, you know, like is something happening? Is you know, someone giving them intel? I mean, you can be on Steam Friends at tournaments. It's not impossible to get yeah. um, messages. There is no delay right now. Yeah, so that's. But apparently, that will be fixed for the next round of matches. Um, I wonder what the score is in Fnatic's game against Teg. I mean, I have to assume. It looks like, it looks like Fnatic's live, up 11-4. Oh, okay. After the first game half, so that looks like fuck. looks like a fairly easy match. I mean, M5 bot again here. Uh, Navi really hasn't had to really execute so far. All these rounds have been M5 just coming to them. Moscow 5 has really got to just slow their game down. Make Navi commit to a site and then beat them that way because the rushing them isn't obviously working. Starks is playing way too passive at the T ramp. He's playing like almost at the bottom. You know, I mean, they're, they're Navi, de Navi definitely knows what Moscow 5 does, and they're not like so far. Mo Moscow 5 is losing the rounds. Navi isn't winning the rounds. Moscow 5 is losing them without even getting into them because of their ag aggroness. And they have two people aggressive in Banana right now. It looks like Navi is about to send all their five people in there. So we'll see some action in just a couple seconds here. Fox takes out Zeus. And there's still hidden behind four more people there. And Markelov with a big kill on Fox. That was actually a really weird spam. Yeah, that was. You don't really see people spam anyone from there. And if they do get bombed down in a 2 versus 3, <laughs> this is actually yet another very winnable round for Navi and see Eddie copying now. That's a third different person on the team to bring out the big green. Yeah, well, when your op's off, you just switch it out, you know, to the next player. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Markel off with a kill on Heck. Misplay. Oh, and Starks. Oh. And there we go. <laughs> Three nice headshots. This is headshots. looking like game for Navi. Yeah, M5's... I re I really don't see. Moscow 5 coming back. I mean, they, I, it feels like they played their hand. They tried their aggro stuff. They st tried sitting back. They stacked 
they stack the site, Navi was going to, nothing's working. Right now they're just getting outplayed in pretty much every possible way. And that was that was around the Moscow 5. When you're an underdog in a match, you can't afford to lose those 4v2s. You have to win the rounds you're supposed to win, and then a little extra. So when you start losing the rounds where you're the favorite, usually things are gonna go bad. Yeah, and I mean, I thought that round, like, Zax was in a good position to, you know, kind of just screw with the guy back all and let his teammates work up. And he just ran, he just full peaked over and over and over again. You're just asking to die doing that. Dosi is in a good position to get a couple kills here if they decide to go B, but Starks is just holding. Yeah, well, I mean, both <laughs> both Romka and Eddie already went down. And there goes Heck as well. And it's just another round. Just another round where by 50 seconds left on the clock, three people from Moscow 5 have died and Navi hasn't even gone anywhere. All they've done is sat back. And yep. Moscow 5 is just gift gift wrapping the rounds away. All Navi has to do is just open the package. It's a 4 versus 2 right now in favor of Navi. And although Markelov and Zeus are both low, they're set up really, really well in the site with people in just about every possible corner, and I really don't see this, Navi losing this. This is one of the rounds where M5 walks around, hopes they get lucky picks by Navi making a mistake and then going for it. I don't think they ever planned on winning that round, you know? It's like... Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's... It's just hoping that T's overestimate you, and... Or underestimate you, I should say. Yeah, the, prob the problem for them is that a team like Navi usually doesn't make those mistakes. That's how you yeah. beat teams that are a little worse. But a team like Navi, team like SK, those teams, they're not going to be making those mistakes, are they? Yeah, I mean, yeah, M5 aren't going to get a random 2v4 out of Navi. Tosia just full peeking mid. I mean, a, a tie wouldn't be bad for M5, even though that, like they're probably mad right now because you, you gotta feel like they they feel like they've blown this match. I'm sure. Yeah. And, but if they can just you know buckle up and win five in a row, it's not impossible. It's hard, but get, getting a tie would still be fine, I think, for them. Especially in a group like this, because then you just know. Let's say both both these teams beat Fnatic, then then at least. Um, they would have a chance of winning the group and avoiding SK, yeah. as it would go down around difference. Plus, we have to remember that um, Moscow Five actually is. I think Moscow Five, besides from Navi, actually, well, I mean, besides Navi and again, who are on a similar level SK, I think Moscow Five has by far the best chance of beating SK out of like the second group of teams. And now Navi's executing into the A side where Moscow Five is. Eric and Dosia with kills. They get a five on three. Zeus takes out Eric. A lot of gunfire going on right now. Starks goes down. Edward with, I think, a mid-air deagle shot. Zeus takes out one as well. I mean, one one it's all down Eric. to one versus I mean, one. <laughs> Edward only has seven health. And he gets and taken out. It, yeah. First round coming to M5. You know, you know what's the interesting thing about this round? This is the first round where M5 sat back in the site. They don't have anyone going aggressive anywhere, not dying early. Forced Navi to execute, and they instantly won. Yep. I mean, yeah, they didn't do anything. They just played at a standard CT Inferno. I feel like if you play that for 15 rounds, they probably could have grinded out five rounds to at least tie. I mean... You'd have to figure, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, they had plenty of rounds they could have easily won. Like that banana round, where Markelov had yeah. that weirdish spam. Like, they had a 4 versus 2. There's, There's been a lot of rounds that they could have, would have, should have won. But, I mean, they had a pair of those in their own, too. STs. And, and as you were saying about, like, SK, the Moscow 5 being able to beat SK, I was going to say, like, one of the things about SK is, I feel like they're the best on all the cool, insane shot by Edward. Right there. Yeah. To Zex. That was really crazy. And Dosia. Dosia yeah. once again getting important frags for Moscow 5. And this He's guy really inside. puts in oh, a Fox lot of numbers. Just going aggressive. He just 
Oh, <laughs> takes it. That was that was a big play by Fox, by the yeah. way. Because if he if Zeus gets the bomb down, that two versus two really favors Navi instantly. Because that so kill that, on that a guy a... running in the side is really easy when you're just sitting there. So yeah, especially because his teammate was stuck in holes. So one as soon as he got behind those boxes, there was nothing the whole guy could do. It's not like he could just peek him up close. So that was a big play by Fox, and that makes it 15-12 in, in favor.